welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you um, a couple of things and I've written the four things down on my to-do list. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is my 2020 reflection. Um, I wrote it in Chinese so you won't be able to read it but I will be explaining what I wrote in there and what you can also try to write so you can like have a good reflect on how your year has, has been um, rather than just sitting there and be like, I did nothing in 2020. So um, the second part is the vision board that I've drawn uh, actually a long time ago, I think. I did it in like November and I didn't film it because I don't have one of those fancy cameras that hang on top of your head that shows like the whole process. I only have my phone and I thought, it wouldn't look as nice if I like filmed it. I will be showing you what I did um, and I don't have a printer in my house so I the only thing I could do is just to doodle. So I did, uh, I took this A3 piece of paper and I used markers to doodle what I think my 2021 is going to look like. And then the third one is my 2021 goals. I've actually wrote a draft down in my journal already, uh, but I will be rewriting it and hanging it like uh, in front of me to see it every day. Um, and it's scientifically proven. If you write your goals down, it's much easier for you to achieve it. So yeah, that's the third thing. And the last but not least part is uh, a 2020 journal review tour. Um, I have posted some of my favorite spreads on Instagram account, but I haven't posted everything because some pages aren't there just to be pretty. They're there to actually, for me sometimes, to express my feelings. So, uh, I won't be going into details of what I was feeling or what I was writing, but I would just give you a flip through of what my 2020 journal looks like. And yeah, let's get started. So, the first part is... Um, my 2020 reflection and um, I'm using my favorite app that I discovered recently called Notion. If you don't know, you should definitely check it out. They have a website, but they also have an app that you can download on your laptop. It's completely free. Um, and yeah, okay, I probably shouldn't be showing you what I'm trying to upload on YouTube, but I want to go to my tab that I created for reflections and writings and I've imported what I have I had for the past two years and there are two so I did started doing yearly reflections in 2018 and then 2019 and then this is this year so I click into it um, you can see here's my reflection in Chinese it's pretty damn long and then at the end I kind of wrote like sincerely to uh, myself in 2020 by me and then I wrote down the date and exact time when I finished it because I think it just makes it feel a lot more uh, present and yeah so I'm just gonna walk you through what I did here I first of all had a title of 2020 simple nothing too much and then I started off with like one single sentence that kind of uh, says about what it was like I basically said it was it was crazy but I also think it was great year for me and then I started off with this first paragraph um, by saying how I started writing this piece of reflection because when I was starting it, I had no idea what I was going to write. Um, so um, one tip for you, the first tip, is to go through your camera roll in 2020 and just basically look at the pictures that you've taken and find the moments that you think is most precious and you were happy with. For me, I actually take a lot of photos so it, so suddenly I just had a lot of topics that came up to me then that I had to write down. And then moving on to this part, which is a list of things that I did. Um, and it was inspired by my camera row because there were so many things that I've actually done in 2020. And I have exactly listed 30 things, 30 positive things that I've done in 2020. Even if I can write like, 30 things you can write more than that then I listed three things uh, that was negative for me that was uh, either like mentally uh, like a roller coaster time or just every time I was feeling 
very mentally devastated and those happened around three times in 2020 and here I wrote this you can read it in English um, the biggest life uh, I don't know life lesson that I've learned in 2020 is surrender to the flow because you cannot control anything except your state of being and your state of mind and that is what I did for my 2020 reflection Hi, so uh, giving you a tour of this is what my wall looks like um, I have a bunch of random things stuck on there but this is what the vision board is um, I had 2020's vision board there as well um, so I just teared it down and put a new one on and then there's also a beautiful wall of decorations that I did just to make it look nice and then now I'll be showing you some of the details so this is what it looks like. I started off with this uh, Vision Board 2021 title in the middle just so I can get started. And then I started doing illustra little illustrations of me. Um, and then a couple of things that I want to achieve, uh, like meditate every day, um, keep doing YouTube, reading books, and going to a summer program in Paris. Apparently, um, I don't know if it's going to work. Um, I really like this font here, coronavirus go away, and other things around is just more kind of like quotes and life lessons that I've uh, learned in 2020 that I want to keep going in 2021. And then I, there's also a couple of things, positive things that I want to encourage myself. For example, you are the chosen one here with the angel on the top, and then you are unstoppable. Um, and you are powerful. Um, not trying to be cringy, but just a few things that you need to write down in order to remind yourself every day that this is your reality. Um, and 2020 has also been a healing transformation time for me. So I sat on top, ready to go on a new adventure. So that's kind of what was there, um, just to give me a positive mindset of my vision for 2021. So I actually wrote my 2021 goals already in my journal and I divided them into seven categories. But um, what I want to do now is to rewrite them into much nicer form and put it in front of me, stick it on here so I can see it every day as I said. So here is the time lapse of me uh, rewriting my goals in order to stick um, in front of my face every day so I get to know like, uh, what I should do and what I shouldn't do. Now, this is the first thing that I've did and I disliked it a lot and I don't know uh, what I was doing, just kind of like to warm myself up a little bit. So then after the first fail, I did another one, which I liked much better. Um, and the fonts, I actually typed it up uh, on Canva and the font is called Shrink Hand. Um, it's my favorite font on there. So I kind of just copied it from there. All right, we're officially done with rewriting the goals, which is this one right here. And I love it so much. Also, I don't waste paper. I put this in my pile of recycled paper, so I will not be just putting this in the trash can. Yay, this is what my desk looks like. Last but not least, in today's video, I will be showing you a flip through of my 2020 journal. Um, I will, I am not even halfway through this, so I will be keep, keeping using this in 2021. So just so you know, um, and it's not a bullet journal. I dislike them because I don't like planning things on uh, before I was going to use them. I do it like one by one. So let's get started. On the first page, I have a swatches of all my super uh, Crayola Super Tips colors and the Boozma Fileners and what this is and when I bought this. So, originally I filmed this footage while talking through it, but it was just way too long uh, for this video. So I just, I'm just going to voice over it and then I don't think you need to know the details. Just see a general flip through of what this is and this is a tarot card page because I like connecting with the universe. Hopefully it doesn't sound really cringy. Um, and then I have spreads that I did just for fun. 
This bit is when I actually attended a university fair, so I had to take notes and write questions that I wanted to ask the uh, school's representatives or the professors. And then much of the things after this are just going to be plain information about each of the universities because I did research for all of the ones that I potentially could apply on later on. And then I have this percentage of uh, the acceptance rate um, and I have them all over the world. And then this is my boba tea recipe. <laughs> This is where the possibly, uh, possible questions that could be asked for writing an essay when we're applying to a college. And here's like my mid-semester grade reflection, um, parent-teacher conference notes, and then this is actually notes for the summer program that I wanted to attend in 2021, hopefully. And uh, more general, this is a bit of numerology. Um, and this is Spotify, which is 2020 wrapped, and I just listed out the music. And this is actually the 2020 reflection that I showed you on Notion, but then I wanted to write it out. It was a lot of work. That is the 2020 journal wrapped. So that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed everything um, that I showed you, and this hopefully encourages you to do something to wrap up your 2020 and start with a fresh new start. Um, thank you so much for watching again and see you next time. Bye!